What's going on YouTube? Welcome to this Monday MLK Day edition of Weather Talk. My name is Joe Farrell and today I want to give you guys just a couple reasons in my opinion of why weather and meteorologists are important. And one of those reasons is because weather affects you every single day whether you think about it or not. It affects your everyday life. It affects what you wear, what you buy. Um, you know, things like this last couple days when it's been super cold, you go out and you start your car early before you go somewhere because you want it to warm up before, you know, you actually have to hop in it and go. And that's just, that's just, you know, what, that's another way it just weather affects your everyday life. And that's a big reason that it's important. And meteorologists are there to give you, you know, a small idea of what's ahead. And you've got your phone apps and you know stuff like that and there's a meteorologist behind that it's not just you know something that just kind of spits out weather forecasts and they're not even accurate half the time but there's a meteorologist behind that and you know this predicting stuff predicting the weather is really I mean it's not it's not easy at all and you know people have beef with meteorologists when they get stuff wrong and Things like that, which is understandable, you want, when you get a weather forecast, you would love it to be 100% accurate every time, but that's just not the not reality. And we're, you know, meteorologists, we're getting more and more accurate as, as the years go on. We have some awesome technology out there to always help us out, which is great. But, you know, the weather is so complex, it's always changing things never stay too consistent and you know that's just that that's what makes it tough that's what makes things difficult and that's why I love it it's always a challenge and so you know just the weather impacting your everyday life that's just one way that meteorology is important another way is you know believe it or not meteorologists we are out there to keep you a little bit safer and you know that might not make a ton of sense, but it's true. When we do our forecast, we, and there's, you know, different, like, let's say there's severe weather ahead and there's severe weather going on, or there's a winter storm ahead or a winter storm going on, you know, we're there to tell you that, you know, it's snowing really hard in this area right now. Uh, stay off the roads in, the, in these areas. Winds are picking up and road conditions are pretty awful. You know, if you don't need to travel, don't go out and do it. You know, it's really cold out. Be sure to bundle up out there, stay warm. Frostbite can happen within 10 to 15 minutes. You know, there's a tornado uh, currently on the ground in this area here. If you are in this path, this area, you know, they'll have a map with the tornado warning up and we'll say, if you're in this area here, you need to take cover and be safe. You know, get your family safe, whatever, right now. And so that's another reason you've got you've got someone there that has a better idea of what's going on in the weather than you do and have at least a little bit more of a knowledgeable background of it that can tell you when to take cover, you know, just so basically we are just, we forecast and we do these things because we want you guys to be able to know what's coming and know what's happening and to be able to better prepare yourself for it and to be a little bit safer out there. And so uh, that's just, you know, that's another reason why it's important. And another one, uh, storm chasers. Um, I wanted to touch on this a bit because a lot of people think that storm chasers are just out there for, uh, the, doing the, doing it for the thrill basically. And don't get me wrong. There are some people that do it just for the thrill and you know, that's fine. Whatever. As long as you're staying safe, it's okay. But there's a ton of storm chasers out there that are doing it more. Yes, it is a thrill for them still, but they're doing it more than just for the thrill. Uh, they have scientific reasons to be doing this. They are out there trying to understand severe weather better, trying to understand storm systems, tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, that kind of thing better so that we, they can, you know, use that info that they gather to give you a better idea of what's hap what's happening, what's going to happen in the near future, and to be able to, you know, tell you guys to take cover sooner, and ultimately what that does is save more lives, and uh, so, you know, storm chasers do, I, I have heard in the past storm chasers get a lot of, you know, 
you know, get heckled a little bit by the public and people say, you know, it's just thrill seekers and they're just, you know, they're out there being dumb about the whole thing. Well, you know, in some cases that could be true, but the majority it's, it's not, uh, storm chasers are there to, to help you guys just as much as meteorologists are. And so, um, I just, yeah, I just wanted to touch on a few things uh, for you guys and why, in my opinion, weather and meteorology is important. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys, you know, have a better idea of why we're here and why we do these things. Um, if you have any comments or questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on Thursday to uh, do a video. We'll see you then.